Hi everybody, for those of you who don't already know me, my name's Bernie Maloney, an Agile coach and trainer based in Silicon Valley, here this week outside of Orlando, Florida at Agile 2023, the largest Agile conference annually. So for those of you who've been through my classes, you've heard me say in response to a question like, well, how do I get my team started with Agile to just run an experiment? Well, I'm going to practice what I preach here and I'm just running an experiment this week with these videos. See, um, I recognize I had all the equipment necessary to be able to start doing this now, even though I've had the intention for years. So I'm gonna tell you here a little bit about some of the equipment and outline the videos that I have in mind, like when this idea just hit me this morning. So um, first, uh, let me tell you a little bit about the equipment. So I'm just shooting things off of my iPhone. Um, it's already in my pocket. So uh, I've got it on a small stand. The stand is only about that tall. It's flexible, it can kind of grip things. You, it's got legs that you can mold around. I'll show you a shot of that in a later video. I don't want to take it off the tripod right now um, so that the, the, at least this shot is really pretty steady. Um, uh, some of the things that are going to help is your audio. Do carry like a wireless microphone of some sort. I'm just using my iPods right now and having a wireless wired headset can help as well just in case the wireless goes sideways on you. Now for planning your series of videos, um, I like to sketch them out and write on things and I had my iPad so I took some notes this morning. Now my iPad has a little detachable keyboard and when you've got a rig like this with a tablet, you can use it as a pretty good substitute even for a laptop when you come to a conference like this and that can lighten the weight in your bag. Um, that's it. That's the gear that I'm going to be using for this series of videos. Now. Some of the things that I'm going to share with you um, here in this video, I'm going to outline what I'm going to talk about in the other videos that I've already started to sketch out. And um, I'm going to share with you some of the things here that you probably want to have in your kit whenever you do come to a conference. So, um, and, and also some of the things you want to do ahead of time um, as you're planning a conference. Okay, so let me first talk about uh, planning the conference. When I'm back in a studio, I'll show you a screenshot of some of the strategies that I use when I'm planning a conference. These things can have a whole bunch of content and you can have a bunch of fear of missing out. That's the way that I was when I came to my first Agile conference, which was Agile 2015. Um, and you could be rushing around. Something that's really gonna help you is um, look at that conference program ahead of time and mark in your calendar what is your top selection, what's your backup selection, because sometimes that top selection isn't as great as you thought and you might want to make that call within the first five to ten minutes and go to your backup or sometimes those conference sessions can be full because there's a lot of demand for them so doing a little bit of pre-planning with your conference program and at some point here this week i'll show you how rich the program is with a, a shot of the overall program board that they usually post around here so do that little bit of pre-planning and i'll do another studio shot on another video for something like that um, you're probably also going to want to uh, bring along something to write on and something to write with. Now, um, I bring a little set of sheet of notes paper and a Sharpie. You can usually find stickies in an Agile conference and quite often Sharpies. Sharpies show up really well um, when you're writing on them, so I might use those for some cue cards for some of the stuff that I'll be talking about. Other things that I've got planned are... Uh, oh, and other things you want to bring to the conference. Hmm, let me talk about that before I talk about uh, things that I've got planned in this video. So bring a water bottle. Uh, you can get a little thirsty at these and fill it up at a water fountain. There's they're usually pretty available in these conference venues. And now, while this is in Florida and outside, it's uh, nice and warm, and there's a good bit of humidity. Inside these conference rooms, it can be kind of chilly because they have to prepare the air conditioning for when a whole series of bodies comes into a room. So for your own comfort, I recommend bringing something lightweight like a sweater or this is a little uh, t-shirt thickness hoodie that I can toss on or take off really easily for my own comfort. Those are things that you might wanna have in your kit when you come to a conference. Now, 
some of the other topics that I'm expecting to talk about. Um, I'm going to go around the venue and show you some things that you want to think about for any conference, like when you check in at the hotel, when you check in at the conference, kind of scoping out the venue so you know where the sessions are that you are really interested in. Um, I'm also, as we, going, as we go through this week, I'm going to see some of the folks that I know here in the community. And I'm going to ask them to help me record some of their tips for coming to a conference, as well as some of the great topics that they're hearing about at this conference to kind of take you behind the scenes. Because I recognize that not all of my students have the opportunity to come to this. In fact, when you come to one of these Agile conferences, you're gonna find that about half the people at an Agile conference, this is their first time at one of these conferences. I'm also going to um, ask them for what they wish, I'm gonna ask for their advice about what they wish trainers like me would talk about with students that come through our courses. So that's it. That's my first video in this experiment. If you think this is great, share it with your friends. Um, and if you want to stay in touch with me, you can find me at poweredbyteams.com. So um, thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next set of videos with this continuing experiment.